And if they were just able to put a competent scheme together in 13 seconds, that defense would have been a Super Bowl champion defense. The well, way that I, that's just my opinion. I think because of that, like I, it makes me feel better about the fact that even though we're not concrete in these spots, like we're talking about clearly, yep. it still makes me feel better because I know because the reason I bring this up is you just mentioned wasting Josh Allen. I don't I know anybody saying that that's just off base. It's not true because. It, it, there, that wasn't the problem. That wasn't the problem uh, in the divisional round. That's you know sure. what? You're, you're you're right. Players weren't the problem. You know who the problem was? Your head coach <laughs> was the problem. So don't give me that bull. You're the, we did waste his opportunities, and the problem may not have just been the players, but your head coach, my head coach, Mr. McDermott, decided to make an executive decision. Rumor has it. That right. cost us this fucking game. So don't Listen, keep Rico, there's a reason why they won't give anybody an explanation for it. And you want to know why? There isn't one. That's oh, why. Stop it. There, there is an explanation. What Dude, is this, it? We're going to get into it because I was trying to let right. that go, but you brought it up, <laughs> so we don't get into it. Fam, he owes us an explanation. I know a couple weeks ago we were talking about it, and, and because there wasn't too much buzz around it, most people were like, let it go. Let, no, oh, let go. forget it. Let it go. Never. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Let it go. Let it go. Listen, at the end of the day, squib or end zone, and he made a decision. Live on that. Admit it to the full. Oh, that's what you're hung up on. You're oh, up on the kick. On that. I'm hung oh, up on that. See, I'm yeah. over the kick. I don't give a damn about the kick. Because well, to me, should, I understand. That's what wasted us of getting the damn Super Bowl. You're well, you're right. A squib would have made sense 100%. I completely agree with you, but I'm over that because at the end of the day, if they had squibbed it, the the way you don't know what happens, right? Say that they squib it and they get the in the in the clock barely runs off, right? And they knee it down wherever the hell at the at the 20 25. The defensive scheme they ran to stop Mahomes and an incredibly high powered offense was never going to be able to prevent them from getting in to field goal range. It was absurd. And that to me is where there's no explanation because how can you possibly explain defending that team with that weaponry in that field position with that amount of time left and running up the defensive scheme that you do. There's just no explanation for it. I don't understand. I will never understand. And they did it twice, Rico. That's the thing. They ran it to Tyree Kill on the first snap, and we've all seen it by now, the video of Kelsey saying, if they do that again, I'm going to just run backyard football, and I'm going to be wide open, which is exactly what happened because they did it again. They had two opportunities. They let Tyree Kill get that initial catch. He gashed him up the middle. And they did it again. And I just, it was, they were playing like they were defending the end zone. And clearly, like, the reason I, you can see I'm getting all fired up, it's because I will never get over it. People saying get over it. You cannot explain that. And they had an opportunity to change it. There was a timeout. They called a timeout and ran it again. Who again. is it on? Who is it on? It's on Same. the coaching staff. It's on McDermott and Leslie Frazier, 1 million percent. There's nothing that anybody on that field was going to do to prevent perhaps the greatest tight end of all time and the fastest guy we've ever seen on a field do what they did to get into field goal range with an, with an incredibly great kicker. They were running a defense to prevent a touchdown in that situation. There's no explanation for it whatsoever. You know what? The explanation should have been given to us as fans. For people like you that buy season tickets, that buy the merch, that go to that overly expensive store and buy jerseys, hats, sweaters, all that stuff to support the team. Oh, and you have the nerve to me, I put them all through college. Before. I you, put them all through college. You put, <laughs> I'm telling you, you put out an explanation and be done. Stop cowering over your little football caliber, uh, playoff caliber, and all these little mantras and sayings and hiding behind yep. that. Get a Get on the mother right, effing so play, Mc, play McDermott right now, Rico. What's the explanation then? Because I, I'd hey, love folks, to know. If, if you think there is one, what is you it? Here? Uh, Matt Prito, <laughs> uh, BF, uh, Rico, you there? Zbot, you there? Everybody there? Here's the deal, guys. I want to end this once and for all. Here's the deal. We wavered back and forth on what we should do in terms of kicking the ball or squibbing it. I made the executive decision to kick it out of the end zone because I thought our defense could stop. Yes, we didn't make the proper adjustments on defense. And it was on me. Maybe we should have squibbed it, but we didn't. We kicked it through the end zone. I made that decision. Furthermore, defensively, here's the deal, folks. We should have pressed. We played prevent defense, 
and this is what happened. This player was in here. You may not have to name any players. You just kind of give us a base of an explanation as to what happened on those two stupid uh, plays. Coach, z here from the Buffalo Fanatics. When Tyreek Hill ran, uh, got 30 yards on the initial catch, and you had an opportunity to, to realize, wow, that was completely stupid to run uh, prevent defense while you're on the 20 when you need a field goal. Um, what did you see there to say, hey, let's run that exact same scheme again because clearly it worked so well the first time. What did you see there, Coach? Hey, uh, thanks, Z-Bot. That's a really good question. Uh, uh, well, you know what? Honestly, what we thought there was, you know what I'm saying, uh, Coach Frazier and I, we spoke about it, we thought about it, we called the timeout, we saw the look that we liked, we saw the, the, we had the pieces on the field, and it was just a matter of execution. And in this play, what ended up happening here is our corners were playing boundary when we should have been playing sideline, we should have been playing a little inside to the field and keeping them away from the sticks, and also keeping them from getting further, but we failed to do that. We failed to do that. We may have, we should have called this defense, but we called this defense instead, and that's what put us in this position. Honestly, that's on me as a coach. That's on me and my staff. That's something we're going to work on the offseason. We effed up. We effed up. This is what I think that Bills fans need to hear, and this is coming from Coach McDermott himself. We effed up. I effed up as a coach, and I've got to do way better. That's it. That's all. I'm pissed off. Everybody's pissed off. And we're going to get better this offseason. And that starts with me as a head coach. And I got to get my shit together. Any other so, questions? I, no, see, my I would have absolutely loved that. I would have loved an that's absolute spitful. But to, to me, that's not an explanation because everybody knows. The explanation I think people are looking for is there's some like, there's some legitimate reasoning like, oh, we, we, we ran this in practice and it worked or whatever. The explanation is what you just did. And what you just did is explain the fact that you completely screwed up. You completely mismanaged the moment. So to me, I would appreciate, yes, but guess what? The time for that is completely sound. That should have happened in the press conference Agreed. 20 minutes after the game where you take Agreed. the podium and you say, that was pitiful, we screwed up, that's completely on me. The time for that is sound. But looping back to what everybody wants, and that's an explanation, and everybody always says we're not owed one. Well, then if we're not owed one, who is? Because the reason that these teams exist – is because of the fan base. It's Thank not you. like you're. It's not like you owe an ex somebody an explanation for a job that you work, uh, who has nothing to do with your job. We have everything to do with the entire existence of this, of this realm, this yep. sphere, this career that everybody has here. The only reason that people are asking for an explanation is because there's millions of people who support you and are the reason that the team is. A, a team in the first place. And I know it's very black and white, right? To say this, but sports to me are different than any other career or anything where the fans are deserving of an explanation because the fans are the reason that the whole thing exists in the first place. But at the end of the day, your explanation is exactly what needed to be done. And it wasn't necessarily, it was an, an explanation. It was essentially an, admi an admission. It was an admission of complete effery, right? And, 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 uh, Ability. Right. That that is the right, right way to put it. You put it. You put it down. You get it over with. You get your ass roasted by the media. You you get your ass roasted by the fans. But we will still love you in the end because right. guess what? we're going to be right back at it again. And not only that, you got the fans about to put up a bill of a billion dollars to get this beautiful stadium built in Orchard Park, and you sit there, you can't explain some shit to us. Well, what I don't get either is, 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 you know, we all have two eyes, by the way. Like, it's not like we can't watch that play and realize that it was a complete misfire, whatever they tried to do. So just own it. I Thank understand. You. That's what I, I, I totally get that. Listen. Go yeah. Ahead. No, the, going, no I think the problem I have is just that I think when people are asking for an explanation, the way that I see it, or at least my interpretation of it, is that they think that there was some legitimate, like, there was this, this, this scheme or this idea that that was going to work and they had done this and that. I just think that in, in generality here, it was just completely mismanaged. I think people were waiting for an explanation to say like, well, we did this and that, and this is why we did it. There is no why they did it. I don't think they knew why they were doing it and it didn't work. And because of that, it's exactly what you had just done in your mock press conference there. And it's an admission of a complete screw up. 100%. And and you know what? And we're gonna we're gonna put a pin in this because I know people are sick and tired of it. But yeah. and just to end this, at the end of the day, too, us as fans are asking for an explanation, dude. Some of the players on the team didn't even get an explanation. They got into the, the locker room and nothing was said, nothing was explained. They're sitting here like us, wondering what the f happened. I mean, they're talking amongst themselves, but you need to it starts from the top leadership. You feel me? And 
you know, saying every team talks whenever a free agent leaves or whatever the case is, there was, there's always some rumblings. There's, you're never going to be on a team where everything is flawless. This is just not the case. But at the end of the day, explain yourself. And I hope this, I hope he learns from this bullshit. Well, you know what though, Rico McDermott is that guy too. I really like McDermott and the way he handles himself. And he's a high character guy. I really do love McDermott. I do. He strikes me as the guy to do that. So that to me, I, I understand what you're saying because it, it's kind of, it's it, the, I, I, the more I hear about, you know, how it's like this annex secret that to me doesn't make sense. And that doesn't seem very big process way. You know what I yeah. mean? That doesn't really seem very linear to the type of culture that's going on there. There is no secret by the way. So continuing to compound on the idea that there's no, uh, there's, there's no reasoning or explanation given because no one deserves it. That's just, it's not the way that this team is built. It's not the way this, this culture is. So it, it doesn't really make any sense. And, and everybody already knows the answer anyway. So it, whatever. 